Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. I realized that quite for some time I didn't create any type of CSS animation, so through this video we will create exactly that. So the animation that we will create today will be a sliding border animation on a menu, which you can see just now on my screen. As I'm hovering over menu items, home, about, services and contact, you can see that border is moving uh, to the corresponding item of that menu. So let's just see how could we create this and let's code. So as usual we are starting with empty project and I will first create index.html and inside I will type html and select 5 from Emmet extension which will create the starting code for html5 for me. I will just create, uh, I will change the title here, which will uh, say, for example, sliding menu or sliding border menu uh, with CSS. And let's first create the markup for our uh, menu here. So markup itself will be quite easy. I will put first the wrapper content and I will add a, a div here with the class of wrapper. Let me also put the end of wrapper comment. And now uh, this wrapper will wrap around my menu. So I will need to create the menu. So that menu class. And uh, let me also put the uh, end of comment, end of menu. Sorry. So this is the end of menu comment. And what I wish to have inside of my menu. Well, I created this as a div. I will change it quickly to say unordered list. So we will use unordered list as a menu here. So list itself should hold the list item. List item will hold the class of menu item and the one. So this is the first item. So one there. And inside I will have a, uh, a link tag. So a, a tag. href could lead to hashtag and uh, it will just say home here. So I will copy this three more times. One, two, three. And the menu item will change from one to two, three, and four. And also home will now say about, about uh, services and contact. This is quickly uh, the wrapper, uh, the markup for my uh, uh, menu here, but also after my unordered list, well inside of the unordered list, but after the last list item, I will create also the href tag, which will be horizontal rule. And this horizontal rule, we will use it to create that kind of a border that will move from one item to another. So now we could jump into CSS and style that and create that animation. Talking about CSS, first of all, I should create styles that CSS file and going back to my index.html at the top here I will say master styles comment and I will link my CSS with the link tag and it should be linked to that slash styles dot CSS and in my CSS now I could put at least some base styling so base here comment and I will put uh, he, uh, the, uh, this sign is a star sign which will target each of the elements through uh, HTML and I will set on every element padding to zero and margin also to zero so we will kinda reset their spacings and the body itself I could put the uh, font family let's change the font family to trebuchet that one and also I will now set the background color which will be F2, 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 which is smoky white background color. With this base styling, I could now move to wrapper itself. I will put first the comment of wrapper and target my wrapper by the wrapper class. So, as we know, the wrapper itself is uh, wrapping whole menu here. This is not important for this animation, but I wish to wrap my menu so I could put it in the center and it will be more visible on a screen in that, uh, in that way. So I will put first of all the width of my wrapper, well of my menu basically to be 50%. Then also position will be absolute, top will be 50%, left will be 50%. And now I will just 
transform, translate x here to minus 50% and translate epsilon here also to minus 50% and this will put my wrapper, the content inside in the center of my viewport. So from the wrapper I will move uh, to menu itself which is the unordered list. I could target it by unordered list or by the menu class which will I do here and I will just display that as a grid as I have four list items inside, I wish those to stand one next to each other, but I won't style those as display, I won't display those as inline, but I will display those as a grid, and now I could set grid template columns to repeat themselves, and it will repeat four times, and one FR. For you who doesn't know, this FR means free space, so each of my list items that I have here in my list will take one free space uh, and free space will be basically free space out of this 50 percentages of width in my wrapper that means that basically next thing that i wish to have for my menu here will be a uh, background color which will be white one so fff fff and padding will be 20 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel on the left side and right side and border radius i will set uh, that to 10 pixels just so kind of the border is not that boring border that we usually have and now on my screen uh, we can see the that the section here the wrapper is in center uh, the background color white is coming from the menu itself and now our list items are next to each other and those are set to kind of one fr so those are dividing the space between them this gray line at the bottom is our HR, which we didn't work. We didn't work with it at all for now, but we will work soon with it. We should also remove these bullet points from our list items and style those list items to look a bit uh, nicer. So going back to my menu, I will now target menu and uh, list item inside. I will display list item as inline block, so this will remove those bullet points from the list item and I will also put the text align of the item to center so now each item will be center of its uh, free space that uh, it has from a grid, uh, uh, grid layout. Also now I will target menu, list item and uh, link a anchor tag inside and now I will display that also as an inline block and then I will put the padding on it to be 12 pixel to top and bottom, 0 pixel on the left and right. We don't need the uh, uh, spacing on the left and right side because they're, they're, they have, our list items already have enough spacing with their free space. And now I will put text decoration to none because by default the anchor tag has that underline as a decoration. I will remove that. And the color of the anchor tag could be 333, 333, which is kind of darker gray color. And I could check now this how it looks on my browser, but I target this li as a class. I will remove that dot and now I could go back to my browser. So now what we can see, our links looks nicer. We also have a horizontal rule down below. Well, we still have that. Uh, which is still not styled, but everything is in the center and uh, we can uh, now work on our animation freely. So, coming back to CSS, I should work on the animation here, but first of all, I will style that horizontal rule to look a bit different. So, targeting HR for horizontal rule, I will put height of it to be 4 pixel, not 40, but 4 pixel, which is the thickness of that line. The width will take 100%, so the full width of the menu itself. Then next thing, I will also put the background color, which will be 485460. Uh, then I will put the border on it to be none, because by default horizontal rule have some default looking border, we wish to not have that. And I will put transition here to be all 0.3 seconds, and we could use easy in and out animation for transition. This transition will look that uh, it will give the look to this horizontal rule that is kind of moving from one item to the another item. And now talking about that movement itself, here I will put the movement comment and I could target each menu item separately. 
As you remember, in my index.html, each list item uh, has a unique class. So, for example, menu item 1, menu item 2, menu item 3, and etc, uh, etc. Et so, what I could do here? First of all, I could uh, come here and target my menu item 2. Uh, we won't target first item because the horizontal rule by default will be set to the first item. It is taking 100 percentages of the width, which is the 100 percentages of the list item of that free space, of that column free space. I mentioned earlier that is 100 percentages of the menu, but not the menu, uh, but it will belong to the uh, list item, to the free space. So, targeting the second one, as we won't target the first one, and if we hover on that second one, then at that point I will target the next item, which is the horizontal rule, and I will the corresponding item, which is the uh, horizontal rule, and I will put the margin on the left side to be 100 percentages. So I will move my horizontal rule by full width of the first free space. So it will move to the second column of the grid. Now I will copy this two more times. And now I will target here third item, which is menu item three class. And I will move it by 200 uh, percentages. And I will lastly target my fourth item, which is menu item four. And I will move, bet, uh, move the margin on the left side by 300 percentages. And this is how it will look on our screen now. We have that border, uh, which is the horizontal rule. It's a bit thicker and also a bit darker. Looks nicer with the links itself. If I would hover the about section, you can see that it will move from left to right. And as it has that uh, transition, it looks that it, it's kind of sliding. If I go to the services contact, it will do the same thing. And by this, now officially you can create your own uh, 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 sliding border animation for your menus, for your navigation bar menus. And this will be all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and see you in the next video. Bye bye.